Ray, I think I figured it out. Okay. That your game's not broken. It's not? No, because I, uh, I figured, because when you, this is one of those things like Mega Man 9 where, like, when you shoot, you move yourself. Oh. So, uh, um. Rhett, I think no, your game. No, it's, it's broken. Okay, well, um. Why don't hmm. you try a different weapon? Okay. Okay. Why don't Something I try a different weapon? Blast to it. Oh. Oh. Well, isn't that quaint? Let's well, just do this. that special? Let's just we'll do just this. We'll just drift over here. Let's do this as slowly as possible. Slams her head. Ah, oh, whack! But yeah, like, the idea here is... Oof, that would have killed her, by <laughs> the way. <clears throat> so, boy, this is a fun area. I love this area <laughs> of the game a lot. <laughs> Holly. Like, I, I DM Rhett at... But look, look at that spider. That spider. He is, likes this level. He he you. is having the time of his life. Well, the time of his death now, unfortunately. So, yeah, that's kind of the gimmick here. Oh, you're going fast. Yeah, you go fast. Gotta go you, fast. You do want to... Measure it a bit. Measure it a bit. But, I mean, but, I mean, but that was so easy, Rhett. Like, why would yeah. I need to measure it? Oh my god, this can't be too bad. Did you go down there? Oh, look at this. Right, how does she breathe in space? People. She's breathing people. She breathing. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're going kind of fast. I, 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 I'm, I know. Nope. She's going kind of fast, going kind of fast. I got, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't want to shoot those guys because they're dicks. They will they will rain on my parade. <laughs> slow down, slow down. Oh my. Don't worry, we got this. Okay. I'm a professional, Red. I know how. I, like, didn't I tell you? Like, I'm real good at this part of the game. Ninety percent of your practice for this game was on this area. <laughs> You're so wrong. No, uh oh, no, uh oh, no. Well, oh, oh, wow. wow. <laughs> See, like that all that was. practice. Just fucking paid off. <laughs> so this area was real fun to go like Oh, just was it now? Taking all the physics and just throwing them out <laughs> for this one part. So, any fun coding stories about this? <laughs> there was also bugs where you could get through those spikes if you like. Hit them and stopped. Because the way the hit back on this area works is also totally different. Works. Yeah, it throws you out. But it like has to reverse your momentum for a couple seconds. So like if you hit them while shooting away from them, when your momentum got reversed, it would move even further into them. Mm. So it had to be a real like... Because, you know, games just don't like it when you do things on the exact same frame. No, no. So, that's a big problem. Yeah, so you had to be sh shooting away from them as you hit them. Yeah. So then you'd stop on them and be able to clip in. So Holly. I think the worst of it's over. Yeah, what were you so worried about? Well, you're not out of the woods yet, technically, but yeah. We almost have... We, we, we have a flawless... A first section anti grav. How Looking did that happen? God. How did there... that happen? Oh wow, you can go up for a second, like straight up. Your head close to the ceiling. Oh yeah, like you can see. Oh wow. Nice. Hey, that's work. not a huge. Well, it's because you enter the room, like, oh. and there's that wall over there. Like there are layering tricks in this game. It's very. Fun. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'll stop showing off your big fat mistakes. I'm the one who it's it's not really a mistake. It's just because, wow, yeah, I'm lucky for some of these. Nah, dude, it's skill. Trust me. Okay, that was a skill. Oh yeah, that. you know how these ones are. The sign there says K4, and then this one is K3. K3, K2. K2. So, do you, how do you feel about <laughs> Higurashi references? I really like them. Because now we have Keiichi. Is it Vela who tells you to go to D7? Ah, uh, yeah, I think so. I'm pretty yeah. sure there has to be a D7 here, of course. There's a D7. And then that thing is like the only one not affected by the, the grinding. 
I really like just that guy's placement. Well, if you switch to one of the other weapons, like you're less likely to be to, the, to completely fuck yourself. I like the columns in the background on this one. Oh, 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 let's slow down there. Yeah, so the, that, there's the knockback though, where it just completely. Wow, wow, get that. I don't need it, but I'll get it. I always saw this area as like kind of the calm before the storm, really. Really? Yeah. It's just a nice, kind of slow... Yeah, we're, we're almost there. Wow. A nice, slow area that's not too difficult. Boom. Right before Right before game. everybody's favorite boss. Yeah. But especially the game as a whole goes fucking bananas from this point on. Yes. Basically. It's absolutely crazy. Like, so... that is the lull. Tell everybody how much people love my boss oh, and how much you had to revise this guy. <laughs> I only really had to revise it on, on easy mode. That's the thing. Everybody on new grounds I found out was playing. Oh, look at that. You did a third of his life already. Yeah, there's nothing hard about this at all. Yeah, so it turned out everybody on, norm, on new grounds was playing on easy. Mm -hmm. And so what happens with this boss is if you miss those shots three in a row, he'll take a step forward. Mm -hmm. And then, if you keep missing, he'll just kind of have you pinned against the left wall. Yeah. And since people were having a real hard time with that thing right here, we have to kind of jump and shoot diagonally. He just was completely impossible for people. I see. I'm gonna die, you actually. Know, you're almost dead, but he's, de he's dead. Oh, oh. Yeah, I could very easily miss one of these. No. Just, and yeah. there we go. And then this is real dumb. I don't even remember what this one is. Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> That is so dumb. What, what made is... you think to just make the gun shoot the other gun and oh wow, the gun's better now. I don't know, honestly. What was even the <laughs> I mean I'm not saying I, I don't love it. Don't, I honestly don't remember. But it's like, is it really worse than the spirit of the slime thing and shooting it to the handgun? <laughs> so, so Rhett, what's more, what's what's awesome about this other than that slick sprite upgrade? Uh, so this gun, the bullets don't disappear when it hits an enemy. Mm -hmm. So they just they keep going. And, and they this is like, and you pick like a great set of enemies to demonstrate that with right off the, you know, right after introducing it. Yeah. So there's two things where. So the bullet will keep going, and it'll, it'll regain its hitbox like four frames later, and do more damage. So on a second and on a really big enemy, it can hit twice. It's yeah. like right here, though. Well, if you aim well, up when they're on both on the left, yeah, wall, it'll be able to clear through both at once. Oh, that's interesting. There's like no hitback if you're wall jumping while hit. Interesting, but probably smart. Yeah. So yeah, see. Hold up, another hit. Boom. Take out both. Why did that happen? Oh. I just wanted to demonstrate that again. <laughs> so the machine gun, it really does kind of fall off pretty quickly. Yeah. In stage two. Yeah. So this was really necessary. So like right there, you can shoot the spiders and the big guy at once. And the big guy, you just saw him get melted like Swiss cheese. And the wheels right there. So like, yeah, this area was very much designed to be like, hey, hey, why don't you try that thing? And I've seen people like get it and then immediately switch away anyway right back to the rocket launcher so like this is another this, readability thing i've seen people goof up this this, this little ramp and these jumps up here like because they think that they can just like jump off of that yeah. one again and you then you get here but you know oh, you, you can't stand on that i don't think it's that good. and then this is one of my favorite parts just because i was like well let me mix up kind of remix the background here just to yeah it looks really it. nice so it kind of combines the background of the previous area with the interior i kind of saw this as like the real prestigious elevator like because it's section a this is like yeah. this is like the the the, the most suite. important yeah it's right at the front of the ship and if Close you fall enough. it really sucks yeah it really does it really does you lose it all But it's not that long of a trip. Yeah. Of course, I think you can still fall in the next room. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. 
I, yeah, yeah, yeah. But this is if you fall yeah. here, it's your own damn fault. Yeah, because it's not actively really getting you. You just gotta watch out for spiders. Watch out for spiders. Got that bitch. See that? And then this room, I don't even know. Just like whatever. Everybody. It's just like, hey, everybody's here to party. They're already drunk, and they're in no position <laughs> to actually do any kind of damage to you. These flat rooms are real tricky how to like make them interesting with limited enemies. Yeah. So this one's just like, why don't, why don't we just stick a few big guys here? Yeah, sure. <laughs> oh, yeah, so level C might be like where you started the level, like from below. Yeah. yeah. You wrap around. So up here in this room, there's, you have to, like, you can wall jump up there. That's where the other secret is. Oh, how do I do it? I think, yeah, you have to jump all the way to the one on the left. Oh. So, no, jump from the right mm -hmm. in, into the middle one and then wall jump again. All right. Okay. And then... Keep going up. I forget from which way. Probably from the other side. So you've definitely never seen this before. Huh? I think I've seen this, actually. It's, it's it's real hard to get, but I remember practicing and doing it, just not for this LP. So this is just kind of going back through some areas we saw earlier. Yeah. But since you have... Actually, I think I just moved a platform. So, like, I think that door... Level B is where you originally went. Yeah. So you didn't so, really yeah, we're still on the map, I believe. But now you can go up because everything moved. Oh, is this the one that's... Yeah. It's hmm. like another double wall jump here. You totally can do this. Which... Where, where am I coming from? Probably start on the middle one. I think you've got to hit multiple in a row, actually. Oh, good job. Wow. That's tricky. And your reward is to fight the life bar. The, li oh. the life bar, that's right. Yeah, I've seen that. Let's do it anyway. And he's actually got, oh, you know, he's actually displaying correct health. It's it's real dumb. Yeah, yeah. yeah the life, it's the only enemy in the game, I think, that really shows damage. <laughs> <laughs> but the pound attack is, like, actually pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> like, I don't know why this is an enemy movement pattern that only shows up here. And then, yeah, he's dead. Yeah, he's, he's dead. <laughs> it's real silly. And, and that's then, all you can do there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I remember that now. It's so stupid. Yeah, it's... So now you can just drop down. You okay. jerk! Well, don't worry, because the checkpoint is dead here. Hey, cool, you're not dead. Oh, yeah, so all this right. room Let's originally was just, like, four dudes. Mm -hmm. The next one. Mm -hmm. And I was like, you know, there probably should be more than four dudes, considering Avior and Bella have just been sitting here. Yeah, they've the been here level. a while. So now you can be collected. Don't they have any Easter eggs, like, sitting there? I thought there was an Easter uh, egg or something where they would say something if you stood there long enough. I can't remember, though. And I can't either. Yeah, so... So, late, late the whole, the hardest like, boss in the game? <laughs> you got hit. I got hit on the hardest fucking boss in the game. Nobody's gonna hold that against me. Yeah. Like I said, originally this was just going to be like three dudes here, and I was just like, that's bad. So that's put, not that going to work. And it was really cool because that really shows off the machine gun because it works both ways where it can... It's, it, where it's penetrating and, and you can see it actually like... Yeah. You, you can see the shots turning white, meaning I think that means they're reactivating. Okay. Yeah. Okay, let's head out and push them back. So I wonder what this is going to be. Well, based on the border to the... And there, that was the exact same right. sound effect of the ship base. warping out at the end of Project N3. <laughs> yeah, Three ships as well, so it's the exact same thing. Oh, yeah. Uh, this is a much more difficult uh, shmup section. Uh, I call it enemy spam. Merciless enemy spam. It's... It's a little crazy. It's not at the crazy point yet, though. Like, this is doable. Um, still feels awkward as hell on an Xbox 360 D-pad, but... Uh, okay, well, that's your problem. Yeah. Uh, oh, again, look, some readability, but I know that ship. Who's that in That ship? Man, I bet if you watched the movie, you might the know movie, what that ship is. The movie got pulled from YouTube because of fucking access, so I didn't use to fix it. For real? Yeah, for real. Fucking Excel Saga. 
file copy. Oh, I love this part right here. This is good. Because when you drop down, you can see the scrolling area. The scrolling right area. <laughs> yeah. Hey, don't hog all. Not that it's in any way. It's not like. Yeah, it's just a neat and real dumb thing to include. Then you get some health here. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of it. He tries. Good lord. Well, he actually does aim at enemies, though. Yeah, he does. He's like, not just like... He's not just zooming back and forth. It looks like he's actively finding targets. Yeah. He aims at enemy number one. So oh, that's cool. The problem is a lot of the enemies are just way too fast for him to really yeah. actually yeah. hit that one, but he's aiming at something. He's 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 always going to aim at something, because like his movement can get a little jittery sometimes, so you oh, can see him actively yeah. going for... Is speeding up a bit to hit that enemy at that ID. And now, enemy spam! Oh, this, oh, this part, yeah. Yeah, yeah this part... I forgot about this, actually. Yeah, it's, it's a little much. And with the ships in the background as well, I think you've got, like, I think it kind of just fucks with your readability a bit. This part was definitely like, hey, why, how do I make the, the laser useful yet? Yeah. <laughs> Huge ships that you gotta pierce through. Yeah. Oh, you laser! You you're panicking. Oh boy. Oh boy. Well, this is this this went to pot real quick. Use the laser. I was just saying how this is designed for the laser. See? Yeah. That's, there was no way I could get that without taking a hit. I know, but the laser cuts right through those. Things. Yeah. Yeah. Just get get in front of them. Get to I don't oh, have to. That was good. So that's Project N33's. <laughs> boss introduction, along with a Mars Volta reference. Let's just go ahead. Yeah. All right. Good. 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 You were saying? Oh, I just I really like this boss. The yeah, this boss is cool. This is another schmuck boss that has like a ton of destructible parts which can blow up in any order. Yeah. And it was real interesting getting all that order. And then yeah, he starts doing uh, twisted variations. Yeah, so the way he starts twisting, to... and and like when the way like the behavior slightly changes when some of the guns are missing, or the way the patterns can get, uh, yeah. they can start to mess with you a little bit. It's kind of like there's a boss in like Fantasy Zone, or is it? Oh, it's that one, with Super C actually. You know, stage four where yeah, the the the, the, like, the, the as you floor. destroy cannons, yeah, the cannons that are left get way faster. Yeah, so this is doing that. But okay. Awesome. Oh, that was a good guns. boss. Oh, no way. He, he's not done. He's, he's like, no, I've got eight fucking guns, guns, dog. I saw this boss as a lot of inspiration from the seven fight in, uh, was it two or three that had the extra mode? Oh. I thought you were going to say seven force from Gunstar Heroes. No, like the seven yeah. fight in, uh, Project N3. Because she does a lot of the same thing. Back. She cycles through attacks and Yeah. I can see that. Even though it wasn't actually really picking up at the time. Oh. So yeah, these weapons, the guns, you can actually destroy them in any order. And then one of them is just a spin. So the last attack is just spinning and shooting all of them with a little bullet. And whichever guns are destroyed you won't fire. Yeah, that's it's real cool. It looks just like the battle damage works not yeah. only in terms of just like being a visual, but the boss pattern continues to change. Was that, like, in any way, a nightmare to try and code? To, like, make him skip guns, like, when it's gone? Like, the skip was pretty easy. It's really just, like, making sure the animation doesn't glitch out. Yeah. Like, because sometimes movie clips will just reset. Mm. They'll show the gun as, like, not being broken again. I guess it's only got one more thing. So, yeah, right there, it's just, it's just like, I got the flamethrower, that's all I got left. Yeah. <laughs> and it does take a second. Oh, you didn't get to that one. All right, nailed that it. That, oh. Yeah. Oh, you really might not want to get. There we go. All right, nailed oh. it. Let's get out of here. That is the. B that you is again? You. Come on, man. Don't, don't get hit. Don't get hit. I'm not going to at all. Not yeah. Much to, oh, I shit. can't do that fight. I got you now. You don't have to. No, you don't have to. Oh. Bang! <laughs>
<laughs> See, I said, it, I said uh, last time, acquired. like, oh, All at the end of stage four, she should self destruct and cap, and, you know. Yeah. I was like, oh, wait, that doesn't make sense because she kind of does that at stage five. Kind of. Like, she does the claw thing to capture Karina, so it wouldn't. She did. She couldn't blow up the ship because she needs it for that part. Yeah. So yeah. whatever. Well, she's she's a, been captured. Oh shit. Shit. So that is the penultimate stage of the Hunters, the Relic of the Stars. When next we meet, we're cruising into the ultimate, the ultimate stage of the Hunters, the Relic of the Stars. You are not going to want to miss it. There might even be an, a surprise or two uh, in store for that episode, right? Oh, there might be some surprises. This is a surprise that it takes four hours. <laughs> <laughs> See you next time.